Hello everyone. It's Say We Are Live. So if you guys can tell me if you can see me and hear me, that's what I'm looking for. So we were talking a little bit about the weather before going live here. I mean, it's not bad. I went just outside before going live to bring the trash out at the dumpster. I mean, it's cold, but it's winter. So it's not that bad. Uh, so I'm looking to see at my hand here. Okay. It show I'm live on YouTube. So now the question is, how about the sound? Somebody said the sound is great. So, okay, I want to make sure with the sound, I got a few things to explain. You guys get a control of the volume at two plays. So I want to check on mine here with just in one second here. And the reason why I say... Uh, Okay, going to stop so, that. Okay, so what I'm saying about the volume or sometimes if the picture get pixel. So number one thing for the volume, uh, check the volume on YouTube. Right below here, you get that little, it's kind of a, a speaker. Click on that, make sure it's pushed all the way. Also on your device, I don't know if you're on the PC, on the TV, on a phone, whatever it is, make sure you control your sound there. So you get two spots. That don't work, log out, come back in. Because if it's just a few that say they got problem, that means it's your personal problem. If everybody would say they got issue, then it's at my problem. Now, for the picture, that I push the video to you and you guys download it. Okay, Mia, I upload, you guys download. So in between the two, that's why we get a lag here a little bit. So if it's bad, it can be your connection. Also, it can be sometime you log in and it was a bad connection to start with. Go out and come back in. Okay, so welcome to the mystery stamping. I was... Um, we were planning to have Ollie in the house, but we had some snow and it's cold. And so it's not fun to drive in the, at dark in the snow. So Ollie, it's at the other end, answer the question. Tonight, I put all the measurement that you needed on my blog. When it's a, the way that I do my mystery stamping, oh, lost sound. Oh, no. Sound is good. Okay. I saw something. I thought lost sound. I checked. My lights are green. Um, and so I put on my blog post the day of the mystery stamping. But before, I announced about two weeks before the mystery stamping. And that is in the description of the video. Now, if you want to get notified when I go live, that is just for live video. You want to subscribe and set your notification, that little bell, click on that and set the notification that you want to get notified. The only way that, the only time now Facebook, now Facebook, but YouTube send notification, it's when we go live. So you need to subscribe right there and then hit, click that notification so you would get notified also. Then when I schedule my uh, video and I announce it, you can get all the measurement there. Also, if you click that little uh, bell when you see it, then for sure you're going to get no picture or sound. Well, that, uh, I don't know if somebody can answer. Log Perfect. Awesome. Because, yeah, um, even if I talk to Kathy, it won't help, right? So you see all those things. I mean, it's hard to pinpoint where the problem is, but if it's just one person, then or a few, we know it's at their end. Okay, so I think we're ready. Tonight, it's we're making two cards. Yes, ma'am and sir, we are making two cards. Okay, let me, um, I want to pull my... Um,
my own direction. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's get jiggy with it and we're going to get started. So right now, today we're February 15. And um, so we don't even have two weeks left in celebration. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so with that being said, if you want to join my team and get that amazing, amazing deal, you get to choose $175 and you only pay $99 and it's shipped to you for free. Plus it's include a past paper pumpkin. Um, that's in very soon. I beg everybody that plan to join my team not to wait the last day or so because if you get a problem with the computer or issue with the logging and so on, then you're going to miss out. And then, you know, the deal, it's over, the deal, it's over. So don't wait on the last day. Now for the freebies, they added new selection in uh, um, celebration. They added the uh, song, um, the bird punch. They added, they added two punch, the ribbon, it's two spool. So when you shop, if you click the reward of celebration, they're going to give you all the option. So let me flip you down and we're going to get started. Um, for the, the price tonight, when I do um, create on the fly, not create on the fly, I, see, I get too much on my plate. Um, when I do um, mystery stamping, the price it's done after. So if you go on my blog at frenchystamps.com and you go at my blog, let's say you're going to go to my blog, the blog of today of February 15, click on that. And then it talked to you all about that. You can watch the replay right there. Now it's going to give you the measurement right here of what you need. And um, below, it's going to give you right here. Would you mind sharing your finished card? So when you share, you're going to, it's on Facebook. It's create and share with Frenchie. That's where we're doing the challenge for getting organized. Also, you're going to share your card, but you have to make sure you're going to add hashtag. Okay. That's the, uh, the hashtag symbol. Uh, then you're going to do Feb. Frenchy mystery, F E B Frenchy mystery. Make sure you add the hashtag because that's how I can pull you your cards when I do the drawing. The drawing gonna be done on the 26th. I know I get two period six. It's an error. I wanted to correct that, I, and I forgot to be honest. It's the 26th, so you get a week, a little over a week, to share your card to be entered in the price. Now, to be entered in the price, you got the price for tonight's uh, drawing. It is one of those tumbler of uh, stamping up. It's the sweet sorbet. Voila. Is that cool? I think they're so cool. Oh, I thought it was a scratch. No, it was just a fuzz of this. And then with this here, you're going to have a stash okay it's not playing card it's all designer series paper and it's what we're going to be using tonight tonight it's a little bit bigger but i'm going to share one that it's done with this side so you can uh, do plenty of cards when that arrives so and then also you're going to get a lovely uh, voila Frenchie stamp and scrap and my uh, thing. So we're going to put that in. We're going to put that in. And that's going to be the drawing on the 26th. But to be entering the drawing, you have to, um, first of all, I'm going to say, you have to be in the U.S. But if you're from Canada, Australia, uh, Timbuktu, wherever it is, and you want to participate, participate. But if you win... I want to be able to send you this, but I'm going to send you a card, though, and then I'm going to draw for another winner, okay? So that's the drawing. Okay, so in our direction, it you see, I do black and white, and the reason why I do black and white, it's because that I don't want to influence you to use the same color than me and so on, because really the mystery stamping, 
it's to use what you have on and I want you to stamp with me so that's why I do black oops black and white my picture so you can use what you have on and then I get the measurement there so you needed a piece of cardstock that coordinate with the designer series paper so in my case I use real red been a long time I didn't use real red and it's not Christmas now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that at five and a half really speed up the process here I'm gonna score this at four and a quarter now I'm gonna flip this and then um, we're gonna go at five and a half so Kathy it was it just by logging out and log, logging back in that you get fixed I just want to know to help other people so now we got our two card base okay now the designer series paper I said two piece of five and a five and a quarter by four so you needed two piece of five and a quarter by four you're going to take those two piece and you're going to cut this at a two inch, two. Now you're going to flip this and then you're going to cut that at half of five and one quarter. It's two and a half, two and um, five eight, two and five eight. Okay, it's right in half of this. You get two. And now again, two and five eighths. So two and five eighths, it's the center between two and a half and two and three quarter. Okay, now we get this here. This is a very important let me move this here I need my space here we go so this is very important that you put your four piece right here one two three four well very important it's going to help a lot of the process here okay so now you I like to start well okay we're going to start to the left here so the left you're going to go the tip on the left so the left side you're going to go on the tip of the left. Does that make sense? I think that is a very great tip here. Left, left tip. Okay, left, left tip. You put that the top and bottom diagonal. Now we're going to cut this diagonal. I'm doing both pieces at the same time, okay? You don't have to do both pieces at the same time. For me, I think that worked lovely. Go down. And now we're going to take those two pieces there. Now, the top, the right, we're going to go the right point down. So the right point down. Et voila. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay, now I have to look at something, something here. Yeah. Okay, the next one, though, we're going to reverse. Bottom, it's flip, reverse. So you're going to take the one to the left at the bottom. You're going to go to the right tip. So we're going to reverse it. So the right tip at the bottom left here and cut et voila now the one to the right we're going to go to the left tip that's the bottom it's reverse the top it's the same the bottom it's reverse and I'm going to share another tip that's going to help you when you do this you want to have your cut going in the same direction so you see this with this to go in the same direction this with this going in the same direction 
Now, that is it with the cutting. Yes, exactly that. Cut in two and in half and back in half. Okay, now and we're going to take our card base. We're going to fold that in half. And then we're going to fold that in half. Now you're going to take the top, put it at the top there. Now you're going to take this one. Put it over there. Now this one here, oh, that was over there, over there. So we're building two cards at the same time, okay? This one over there. So we're doing this square here, square number one, two, three, four. Our top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. I think that's better. Now we're doing the left, uh, I mean the right. Take this, put it over there. Now you're going to take this one, put it over there. Now we're going to repeat this, this one, going to go over here. So you mix that, okay? And this one over there. Okay, I'm gonna switch this. I have to take my vest off, I'm hot. Okay, one minute here. Back here. Okay, now we're gonna do the bottom. Bottom left. Bottom left. So you see why I like to do the two piece at the same time? I think it make it easier. Here. You see where we're going now with that, right? And here. And then now we're on the bottom right. Over here. Here, here, and here. You got the picture, right? We just did a quilt, my friend, without quilting. So now we can start gluing. And I'm going to be honest with you. The easiest thing to glue this, it's going to be your tumble glue because you can move it. So the way that I like to do it, let me make sure this is reinforced good so it stay more flat. Okay, so I like to place this and I like to uh, really, it don't matter which way you go first, it's just your first one. You have to make sure that it's straight because it's what's going to build the whole thing really. So I want to make sure this is all straight. And if you have to fudge someplace, remember in the center, we're going to have something here. So we can fudge there. Okay, so now go ahead and start gluing your paper. Maybe for during the live, um, you want to just glue one. It's all up to you, okay? You can, if you're Speedy Gonzalez, absolutely go ahead and do both of them. But instead of stressing and worrying that you won't have time to finish, finish one and then after we're done the live, you can do the second one. I think that's going to be a lot easier than trying to stretch stress over to finish it okay I think that makes sense what I'm saying there so this you can do with any paper 
The only thing that if you get some writing on paper, you know, sometimes you get the writing, then it can be tricky because the way that it's slant, you know. But um, really, you can use any um, paper. You can even switch it. I'm going to mount one on one side and mount one on the other side so you can see it can be on both. So talking about Wyoming, I see Ollie asking about Wyoming. Um, how many of you, oopsie, this one should have been, been there a bit. That's okay. I'm keep on going. Um, close to uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, um, we got a fundraiser for Down syndrome in uh, March 18. It's going to take place at Wyoming Bank and Trust on Yellowstone. So um, we would love for you to join us. So if you want to register, just get a hold of me or go at frenchystamps.com and at the top it say class. You get the information there. And these are the cards we're going to make. And it's a reason why it's all yellow and blue. Down syndrome's color or yellow and blue. So that's the card we're going to make there. That's going to take place March 18 at the Wyoming Bank and Trust. And um, lots and lots and lots of price. See here, I went a bit cockeyed, but it's all going to, when I put the center, it's all going to flow good. Trust me, okay? Don't sweat over the little thing. Here we go. We're going to put that one aside. Now we're going to glue the other one. Wash from the beginning to the end. Yeah, if you miss the, the beginning, I mean, yeah, you're going to have to come back and absolutely watch the replay. I don't see, yeah. It's kind of, and plus, it would not be fair for the one that were here and for me to stop and repeating everything. But the beauty about this, it's recorded, so don't panic. You're going to be able to watch the replay and do it all back. And you could always flip, um, you know, the, the print. Because for some reason, I didn't think I was using this. I thought I was using, uh, oh no, this big print. Where is it? I thought I was using this little print with that. But see, down the road, it get mixed. I, um, I use those two here. So many, many, and what is the beauty about our designer series paper? It's most of the print, I mean, all coordinate together, right? So that's what it's nice about it. So now in the description or in the, the guide that I put really, I put um, any shape for your greeting. So the shape for the greeting can be a circle, can be a die cut, can be a punch, can be name it, okay? It doesn't matter. We need something in the center. So I use uh, the Lovely Me, Lovely Me label, Lovely Me Pretty. One minute, Lo love something. Now, I use that punch all the time. I should know it. It is Lovely, Label Me Lovely. See, I had that backwards. Label Me Lovely. That's what I'm using for tonight. So, but you can use any one that you want. Absolutely. Something feel that both of them, I must uh, push my paper, but you're going to see when it's done, it's going to look lovely, even with the big gap there. Okay. So I got um, Night of Navy, Night of Navy, because I thought that go good. And it, with the red, I think it go good. And I got this. So I'm going to go ahead and use the stamp set that I am using. It's Poppy Moment. No, I think, 
Is it happy moment? Let me peaceful moment. It's just like, you know, measure twice, cut one. Peace, peaceful moment. I'm using the happy birthday. I love this one because it's stacked. It's an old stamp set, but I absolutely love the happy birthday in that because it's that. And then I'm using very best occasion. That's a carryover from the holiday catalog. And this is for the inside, sending you smile from every moment of your special day. So here we go. We got that. And um, I need a stamp pad with that that I got right here. So I'm going to use Knight of Navy and we're going to stamp this. I'm going to stamp this one this way. And this one I'm going to stamp the other way. So then you see two different ways, okay? Now I'm going to get it jazzed up a, just a little bit, okay? I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the top print the top uh, one here and I'm going to cut the top now the bubble and the bubble there uh, wait a minute do I want to do that no 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 okay we're going to leave it that way and this one I'm going to cut this too though cut this and cut this. And then, oops, I'm off a bit here. Okay, go right at the, the last one. Cut. And cut. Now this one here, so we're gonna have two different one, okay? This one here, I'm going to cut this right in half. Like so. So I'm going to go ahead and use. Here we go. Now I'm going to take this and mount that right at the top here. Oops. I want to go off a little bit. Here we go. And this one. So now I got just a little bit on the side, but really the top and the bottom. Now for this one here, I just have a nice, perfectly frame that I'm going to frame right in this because it's the perfect size, right? Because it came from this. Et voila. Okay. Now let's, I'm going to say like I used to say, let's keep on getting jiggy with this. And this one here, I'm going to put it this way. And this one, I'm going to put it this way. See this? Now I'm going to use dimensional. And you know what? Some of you will want to use some bling. You can add anything if you want to add a bow, if you want to add whatever you want. And now you see if you add a different um, print that it didn't go up and down, you're like, oh my gosh, I, I cannot make this because I don't have the right direction. You, you can. You can flip it any direction you want. I mean, if you want to have vertical, horizontal, the choice is yours. Yes, I, that used to be this, um, uh, the scissors that we used to have for ribbon. These are my best scissors. I mean, I wish they would sell, sell them. Uh, many people say, I cannot believe you're using your scissors, your ribbon scissors on paper. Uh, I use it all over and I got two pair and I had saved one for just ribbon, but I'm not using it for just ribbon. Now this paper was Regen, uh, Re, 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 Regency Park, what it's called? Something, something park. One minute. It's called. 
It's called, it's called Re Regency Park, and it is on page 31. So if we go on page 31, and I'm using that stamp set for inside, that Petal Park. I use the Petal Park quite a bit because I'm a punch person, okay? And the punch with this, it's amazing. I got a tip video. I don't know if the tip video went. I think so. Yes, the tip video went. You, you're going to find awesome tips with that. So that is uh, what I'm using. And this paper here that go with that, it's right here on page 31. It's a six by six. You're going to see a one sheet window soon with that six by six. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead. I need a scrappy paper here. And I got right at the bottom, I'm going to use real red. And I'm going to stamp the flower, the petal part. And I'm going to go this way and then this way. And then I'm going to go back. See how I fill my border there? So the way that I like to do that, I like my two and here. And then I go back, flip it and do my little one. This one went a little bit, but still. See, I got a nice border of flower. And this stamp set here come with, um, you get the filler. I'm not using the filler on that. I'm just leaving it that way. Now I'm gonna use um, Knight of Navy and do the greeting. So remember, I almost screwed up. One go this way, okay? I almost, I could hear you scream, guys. Absolutely. I'm going to put sending you smile for every moment of your special day right here. And then you could put the flower at the top, too. I want them at the bottom, though. So then this way. So now when I glue it, I have to pay attention which one go with which, right? So very, very simple card. But again, it's a great way to use your designer syrup paper. So la now let me share more sample that I did with you all. Here we go. And then So you see it go on both direction. Et voila. How simple is it? If you want to add bow, if you want to add blinks, the choice it's yours. It's you don't have to do what I do. You can do your own thing. That's what it's beauty about this hobby here. Okay, so now this is the re re Regency Park. Now, here's another one, and this one here, it's the same size than the little piece for the drawing, okay? The, though, all those little pieces, it's when I did the chart for my designer series paper, it was lifting me with that strip. Okay, so this we use two piece and cut it, okay? So I do a pinwheel kind. Now, this one here that I'm about to share, I use different prints and also this one, okay? Different prints, but this one, it's a little bit smaller because uh, like I said, it had, um, my strip was smaller just by a quarter inch, I think, voila. So this one, I use a border in the back. So I got, my square was, um, instead of two by, um, okay, measure twice, cut once. Instead of two by, oh, it's right here. It was, what is it? One and, th one and three quarter by two and a half. One and three quarter by two and a half. It's the same thing, just for diagonal. Follow, follow. So this year, you see, it's all different prints. So you can do just one card. You use four square and you do just one card. So you all mix it. But you see, it's a different, it's not a pinwheel like this when it's different. 
Now that's the same prints than, I mean, the same designer's paper than this one. Now I did it with um, right, um, right, 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 what, what it's called? Ready to ride. Again, this year it's all mixed print. But again, I want to share on both sides. So you can do on both direction and voila. I put a piece inside that match that and here also. So this don't have no greeting. It's just for a card, whatever. And this is not the stamp. This is the paper. So th both of these cards, it's absolutely no stamping on it. It's all just using paper, the designer series paper in this. So I thought that it's kind of cool to do a masculine card, right? And talking about this suite that you only got like not quite two weeks to get the download uh, for customer appreciation this month. It is um, using this bundle, but in the, uh, purple also or pink. And it's four, you get six different projects out of the six, four or fun folds. Now, here is another one in, okay, this was different print. Again, in the same paper here. I mean, different print, et voila. I use um, the painted label. Like I said, this been on my desk and I didn't use it for years. And now I decide to use it and I'm not stopping using it. I absolutely love this. So this for me, I, I want to say it's called my name just because it's like denim, right? It looked like denim. It looked like summer denim, whatever. I, I love it. Love it. So now all these here. So this was the one we did tonight. This was the other one. See, I don't have a big gap there. I must have slide my paper or if I didn't slide my paper when I glue it, I didn't pay attention enough. I was talking too much. But you see, it all fit perfect. And this one, it's all different prints. So it's not doing the pinwheel like the other one. But I could have done this one too. I already stamped to flip it this way, you know. It would have worked with those prints. So that is it, my friends. So I'm going to remind you again. For uh, the drawing, it's you have to share your card that you're doing. And the link, it's on my blog today at frenchystamps.com. Scroll at the bottom and you're going to see it. So if you arrive late and you don't know the measurement, go at frenchystamps.com. Go my blog and right there under my blog, you're going to see come stamp with us. And you're going to click read more. And you're gonna have all your, you're gonna have the replay right there. You get all your measurement right here, okay? And then if you scroll, and like I explained, black and white, it's a reason because I don't want to guide you in certain colors. Then you, would you uh, mind uh, sharing your final, uh, your finished card? And it tell you where to click to share it. And it said two here whatever slash six it's the 26 so i'm going to pick the um uh, the winner the 26 so you want to share that before noon that day so that is it my friend so i hope you enjoy those mystery stamping i want to do it every month but it seemed the calendar just get away and so on it's like a pinwheel i did another pinwheel that was smaller like four pinwheel in each so it's many way we can do that but absolutely it's it's very much like a pinwheel yes and if you go on well you're on my youtube here you can uh, do quill and you're going to get more pinwheel and more uh, cards like this so thank you so much for joining us and ollie thank you so much if you guys get any question we didn't answer please you know how to uh, contact me Till next time, happy stamping and don't forget.